Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia, and in 2020, as many as 6 million Americans were dealing with this disease, and Alzheimer's is expected to grow to 14 million Americans by 2060. Can any supplements treat this disorder? Today, let's look at the research on curcumin helping possibly Alzheimer's disease, and let's see what we can discover. So curcumin, if you're not familiar with it, is the orangish, yellowish substance found in the spice turmeric. So, in other words, turmeric contains curcumin, and you should know that curcumin is one of the curcuminoids, which is a family over a hundred different substances. However, of this very large family, there are three main types. As you see here, there's curcumin, there's dimethyloxy curcumin and bimethyloxy curcumin, and of those three, curcumin is the most plentiful in turmeric. Curcumin is rumored to help with a variety of health issues, but what about Alzheimer's disease and dementia? Well, people are definitely talking about it, such as this paper here, but is there any proof? So one of the reasons people are interested in curcumin for Alzheimer's disease is because of encouraging research like this, showing that curcumin can cross the blood-brain barrier and prevent the buildup of beta amyloid plaques that have been implicated in the development of Alzheimer's disease. So to that I would say this is encouraging, but is there any proof? In other words, is there any proof that curcumin improves or reverses Alzheimer's disease in those who are afflicted with this disorder? Because beta amyloid is one thing, but the real issue is, does it improve memory? In this investigation, 96 people with dementia were given either a placebo or 1,500 milligrams of curcumin for one year. While the researchers saw no change in memory between either the curcumin group or the placebo group, one interesting finding was that the memories of those taking the placebo pill, they seemed to decline faster during the first six months of the study compared to those taking curcumin. In other words, might this mean that curcumin could slow down mental decline? And to that I would say this is an interesting thought, but I do think we need more research. Here's an investigation of 36 older adults who were given either a placebo or two or four grams of curcumin for 24 weeks. Unfortunately, no changes in dementia symptoms were discovered between either the curcumin takers or those who were taking a placebo. So according to this study, curcumin, a bit of a dud. Now, as this paper points out, curcumin is not water soluble. This is important because if you take curcumin on an empty stomach, you probably will not absorb much. Thus, it is best to take curcumin with some fat to increase its absorption. However, even then, curcumin is not absorbed very well. This is why you may see piperine, which is essentially black pepper, or black pepper itself, associated with both curcumin supplements and turmeric supplements. Black pepper increases the absorption of both turmeric and curcumin. For example, studies have shown that black pepper might triple the absorption of curcumin. Also, encasing the curcumin in nanoparticles has also been shown to dramatically increase the absorption as well. Others have even looked at taking curcumin as a nasal spray to boost absorption. However, generally when it comes to supplements, you're most likely going to see either black pepper or fat used to increase the absorption of these nutrients. And that brings us to this study, where 80 middle-aged and older people were given either a placebo or 400 milligrams of a fat-encapsulated curcumin supplement. Again, remember, fat increases the absorption. The researchers tested the people at 4 weeks and 12 weeks to see if anything was changing and reported that those who were taking the high-potency fat-encapsulated curcumin supplement, they had better working memory. In other words, their short-term memories worked better and they didn't get as much mental fatigue and confusion. And in addition to that, their overall moods didn't change very much. So from this study, pretty impressive results overall. Oh, and if you're interested, they did use a specific type of supplement 
in this study. And if you want to know more about it, I will link to it in the description. We also have this report, which in my opinion is one of the most interesting of all. Three people with Alzheimer's disease are given turmeric capsules to see if it helped. And within three months, they started to show improvements in their Alzheimer memory test. And within one year, within one year of treatment, those people could recognize their families again. Simply amazing. These researchers report that since taking the turmeric, none of those three people showed any relapses in dementia. Keep in mind, however, that this is an investigation of only three people, so it's more of a report, a case report, than an actual clinical study. However, the results are extremely impressive. I know this video is about curcumin, but I could not do this video without including this particular report on turmeric. Remember, curcumin comes from turmeric. And we do have some evidence that turmeric that does not contain curcumin still has biological effects, such as this study here. So is it possible that turmeric may be superior to curcumin because it is a more broad spectrum nutrient? Again, remember, turmeric is more than curcumin. There are many other things in turmeric. It's interesting speculation, and hopefully one day someone will do an Alzheimer's study to see if this is in fact true or not. I gotta tell you, I have seen up close what Alzheimer's disease can do to vibrant people, and I know what it's like to search for answers in the face of an intractable enemy. While I do not have any answers for you, I do hope at least this video helped you sort fact from fiction. And if it did, well then I achieved my goal. Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.